Welcome back to Instables, everyone. So I'm going to go with you guys on the S&P 500. We have been very bullish since our FOMC meeting. Now the question is, are we going to continue on into a rally? Or are we going to get a correction and a retest for a possible continuation? What are we looking for here? And also, I'm going to go over VEON, a major runner that we've been having in the Instables room for the past week. And a lot of people are curious if we're going to reach $1 or if we're going to continue on down since we have been on quite the run. Now, before I jump into this, if you are a day trader or you are interested in intraday perspective breakouts, go to instables.com in the description below and you will never miss a breakout alert today again. So jumping into the daily chart with you guys here on the SPY, this is the S&P 500. Uh, we have a few levels that we're looking for. Um, we are looking to see if we can get over 447.50 going into this week. If we can get over 447.50, then our next target would be here at 458. Um, our 458 level is our very key level that we do want to see if we can bounce back over. Uh, we had an intraday double top here and we did continue on down on a major pullback at this level. So if we can get back over 458, then it would show us a lot more bullish momentum in the market. And in my opinion, a lot better swings at that point in time. Now, if we do get rejected here on our 50 day moving average, then I would be looking for a retest here at 435 and a possible bounce back um, back over 440. Uh, we were holding 440 for a couple of days, struggling with that point. So I would be looking for a break back over 440 intraday. Um, but again, over that 440, level would be that break over to 458. So we will keep an eye on this momentum. Um, again, retesting and continuing is what gives us those healthy moves. Now, as you guys can see here on the volume, we are increasing in volume that we did have coming in going to extended hours. So a lot of people are very bullish with this continuation that we have for the last few days especially closing very strong on Friday, um, was extremely bullish. So again, we are just testing our 50 to moving average while our 20 is below our 50. It does show us that we still could continue on down. So we're going to be careful. In my opinion, our goal here is to not FOMO into any plays, just to look for exactly how the market environment looks like. Uh, we want to see a couple retests to get that healthier move. Now, a major bounce is very nice, um, but again, we could be looking for retests and a possible continuation. Now, just as we are looking for the 20 moving average to cross back over the 50, we do want our EMA lines to cross back over our MACD here. Um, as you guys can see on the RSI, we are pointing up here. We are breaking new highs here, so it does show us that we still could continue. But being careful here, there's no major news. We still do have Russia and Ukraine and any bad news that could come of that. So again, we could get retests from our previous highs and possibly um, have more breaks on the RSI, which would give us that pullback and that continuation on healthier moves. Or we could have a pullback and again, having that continuation on down. That's why I say I would be very careful at these levels. Now, jumping into VEON with you guys here on the five minute chart, as you guys can see, we have been continuing on up. Uh, we have been continuing for quite a while. We did mention this again in the Instables room um, for the past week. And now we are dropping into lower lows, a strong pullback. Um, but as you guys can see, going to extended hours, we did have a slight bounce back. Um, now, the question is, are we going to hold the 20 to bring average as we are curling up? And are we going to get our 20 to cross back over our 50? Uh, we do have a slight bounce back going to extended hours. But as you guys can see, we have to keep in mind this major pullback that we had. Um, that could be a continuation that we are going to have into lower lows. So we're again, um, we just would be looking for that break. Jumping back over 77 cents, which was our highs on Friday, would be very key. So for VEON, we will keep pre-market on watch um, to see if we do break over 77 cents. And if we do get that volume that we're looking for, of course, I will be mentioning that in the Instables room. And again, with that said, if you are a day trader or you are interested in intraday perspective breakouts, go to instables.com in the description below. And only for $15 a month, you guys will never miss breakout with it again. And again, all of you instables that have been coming over and supporting the channel, I appreciate it one of you guys. We're going to continue to stay strong. I'm excited for this week. And again, if you do like this video, it does help others be fine and it does help the channel grow. And I do appreciate it very much. And again, God bless you all. And I'll see you guys in pre-market.